Welcome to the Thomson Reuters Idea of the Week and Alpha Now. I'm John Cozy. Gold is certainly a volatile commodity, but here's one picture that sums up its performance during the financial crisis. The gold line is up, up, and away compared to the S&P 500 index in green. The rise was stopped temporarily by announcements from the Federal Reserve marked by the red vertical lines. So what are the future prospects for gold versus stocks in the light of the QE3 announcement? Let's take a closer look. The gold line shows $100 invested in the gold ETF, GLD, five years ago is worth about $225 today. Data stream charting shows 100 bucks in the S&P in green is, well, just about 100 bucks if you include dividends reinvested. To see how gold is doing versus stocks, we build a ratio of gold divided by the S&P 500. A rising line means gold is outperforming. A falling line means stocks are winning. Let's start in late 2008 when QE1 was first announced, the first red vertical line. Gold was beating out the S&P 500, although both were actually falling in price. The first $600 billion of QE in late 2008 barely put a dent in the rising line as soaring prices helped gold outperform the S&P. That ended March 18, 2009 when the Fed expanded QE1 to $1.5 trillion. QE1 ended March 31, 2010 and gold outperformed stocks once again. Ben Bernanke halted that rise with his hints of QE2 at Jackson Hole soon afterwards keeping performances of the S&P and gold more or less in line. Once QE2 ended in June 2011, gold's outperformance shot up until the announcement of Operation Twist. This came roughly at the same time gold hit its high for last year. At the same time, reduced fears about Greece, Spain, and the rest of the European Union helped stocks move higher, outperforming gold as the dollar also strengthened. But Last week's QE3 move by the Fed changed all that. Gold still moved higher, as did stocks. That may be due to investors trading cheaper dollars for a perceived better store of wealth. Now that the Fed has thrown the kitchen sink at the economy, we wonder how soon investors will perceive stocks as fully valued or even overvalued before gold resumes its long-term outperformance. For the Thomson Reuters Idea of the Week and Alpha Now, I'm John Cozy.